You get what in German people they call job seeker visa. That job seeker visa na maybe when you do training, you do training or you go school, you graduate, then you could just need some money. We you just prove say you be graduate, so some things, then you come Germany, come for six months, come look for work. Once you get job inside, if you get job for Germany here, you will feel use and work. But this year they change them. They know they call them job uh, seeker visa now. So this uh, visa, eh, if you be graduate or you don't do training before, like you don't do like vocational training for your side, like you get training of two years or you be graduate, you go school, you don't get the certificate, then you feel apply for this visa. This thing a point based system. You need A1, okay? You need A, uh, A1 for German. You need B, B1 for English. That's B1, and uh, you go to school for your university or different place, yeah. But you get certificate where you proof say you go to school or you do the training. You understand me? So now, and I recognize school, or not be just anyhow, recognize school from your country. Mm -hmm. So, if you feel apply for this uh, German opportunity card, okay? So, this opportunity card just be like German version of um, green card. You don't see other people get their way of doing their own. So, this one on a point based system. They will give you points based on what you get. Then get 11. Normally, it's supposed to be 11. If you get 6 out of the 11, you understand? If you get 6 out of the 11 points, then you will qualify. Then they use your experience. Then they give you points for your experience. They will give you points for your uh, certificate, uh, uh, for your in, um, English. Yeah, English, they need something like IS. IS exam and then um, some other exams. I will, I will put them here. I will pin them here. So they need those experience. They need all those things from you. Okay? So you know, say, some people, they, uh, some people feel enter Germany. People with them European citizens, they feel easily enter Germany, even without visa. Mm? While uh, people from U.S., UK, Canada, Australia, and other countries feel enter Germany too without visa, but their own visa, when they come, they will they no fit stay like European citizens. You understand? They no fit stay that long. So other people feel easily come, but third world countries like we will, will be Africans and other countries no fit no fit easily enter like other people. People only Africa, they still get some other Asian countries where no fee still enter and other places where no fee enter easily. So, but for you, they come back in a way where we say go day more easier. For you to enter, you need to get this exam, this certificate, what they talk about. Um, if you get them, um, this A1, it's not just basic uh, language, German language, get them, um, or you get. B2, which is a uh, IS. IS, you know, IS now you write the exam, mm -hmm. all those uh, exams, you write them. Now, those ones now will qualify you to fit apply for this um, opportunity card. So, this opportunity card now give you more opportunities to fit, come here, look for work, and after you get your work, you go fit, still use them. Uh, apply for your once you get a contract you don't get your resident permit from there after you get a perm uh, permit if you still work nobody say immediately you, because normally the visa is supposed to be one year you know say the other one the old one and six months but now they don't extend them to one year so after one year you fit extend your stay for germany if you do normal thing, then they do like apply for permanent residence, apply for your passport, 
after three or five years, depending. If you say you don't get the requirements where they need for you to get all these things, what are they talking about? Once you get that visa, they don't give you resident permits. So you start to look for work. When you get contract for your work, you will they work and you go forget stay for Germany for that one year. You understand? And if where they where they work, they accept you. Then your feet start to they do other things where they need. Look for other requirements where you need to use apply for your permanent stay or your passport. So getting passport will take you like three or five years depending on how fast you did to get the requirements. So this job now where you go do now like 20 hours at like part-time job you will receive 12 euro four cent or so you understand i don't know the specific amount but it's 12 euro plus now you will receive you will receive 12 euro every one hour where you work depending on how many hours you work but you know then get limits to what you feel how many hours where you feel work month end you feel they end like one thousand plus we will feel help you take care of your family now point based system they would calculate your points okay i will drop link where you will fit calculate your points if you they qualify then if you apply you go online calculate your points if you they qualify, get every requirement they need, then you apply. Okay? Thank you for listening. Bye for now.